Hello, my name's Stuart Parker. I work at the Parker Furniture Workshops. I've been a joiner cabinet maker for over 25 years, and I hope this video helps with your DIY project. There are many different types of circular jigs on the market. We have one here which is manufactured with all the dimensions on it, in imperial and in metric. And in this case, we're going to be cutting a 14 inch diameter circle. So what I'm simply going to do is halve that. So from the center of the cutting point, which is this hole here, back we go to seven, which will give us 14 overall. These are extremely, extremely valuable to have in the workshop. And you would use them on tabletops, circular tabletops. We use them also in the workshop to cut portholes in doors and archways, etc. Also, you don't have to buy one, you can make your own, which we have here. It's simply a circular cut to the base of the router with a hole cut for the collet, which we'll go into in a minute. And all you do is then, similar principle to the pre-manufactured one, is just measure back to your sizing. We have these in all sizes, ranging from a foot up to six foot. But today, for camera purposes, we're gonna be showing you how to use it with this one. Some people, in their homemade one, cut a diameter hole the same size as the router cutter that they're using and they simply screw the router to the to the base. I don't like doing that because most routers you buy haven't got enough holes to, to fix the router to and it damages the router. What I simply do is I cut a hole this diameter of this collet here. These come with your router or you can buy them individually in different sizes. In this particular case here we've got a 30 mil collet. That will automatically find the centre of the cutter. All I'm simply going to do is put the collet in the jig and run it round. Also remember, don't cut it all in one action, do it in a series of passes. So there you have it, a perfect circle. But just one more thing before you go. Before I commence routering, some of you may think, how's he found the centre? All I've done is got a perfectly square board. I've put it on a backy board because you don't want to route through your bench. So always put it on a board. I've simply found corner to corner on all four corners. That dictates the centre. All I've done then is drill a four mil hole, which takes the centre pin here. I insert and commence routering. On some expensive tables, you don't want to see an unsightly hole. So there's also in this jig template, a bracket that you don't have to drill a hole, which we also use. That's how you make a circle with a router. 